Those were ovals what? of sorts. I don't know. It's there's you just you keep playing with it and you get all kinds of new discoveries. That's the thing. All of a sudden, you could have played with this for half an hour and then wait a second. Whoa, we never saw that before. As if the three-dimensional structure wasn't cool enough. Now we've got this entirely different two-dimensional exploration. That's what hypertiles are about. Exploration. Into new dimensions. New dimensions. Oh, so you reached for the poster child of hypertiles with this one. This is, say it with me, JT. The exploded, exploded tetrahedron. <laughs> and this one, that gives you shadows you'd expect, right? Except, wait a second, wait, wait for it. Booyah! It gives you a three by three checkerboard that literally goes black, white, black, white. No. We could play chess on that if we had some chess pieces. It'd be a limited game, which is three by three. But we could make this bigger and have it be eight by eight. Get taller. Oh, whoa, look at that. And then get in there. Nice. What else you got? Can you beat the exploded tetrahedron? Dang. <laughs> you went for the rhombic triacontahedron. This thing's so dense. It's like, are you serious? Is there even anything to be so? Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, who saw that? There's a snowflake in there. That kind of reminds me of a sand dollar. Yes, yes, with the little holes. Why? Why, because this is Florida, because <laughs> we're in Florida. That's too cool. There's all kinds of cool things going on with this one. Who knew, okay.